Commander Klox glared at the holographic image flickering before him. A cacophony of barks and yips filled the alien war room, punctuated by the occasional enthusiastic whine. These dogs, as you call them, Klox rasped, his voice a gravelly chirp, they are clearly the dominant life form on this planet. His advisor, a jittery four eyed Glarbian named ZZZZT, squeaked, But sir, our scans show primitive bipedal life forms at the top of the food chain. Clock scoffed. Primitive, yes, but clearly subservient. Observe their behavior. The image zoomed in on a portly pug waddling down a sidewalk, its human companion tripping over the leash in a desperate attempt to keep up. They walk these beasts on leashes. They clean up after them. These are clear signs of dominance, ZZZZT. ZZZZT sweated, or rather, his translucent skin shimmered ominously. But the bipedals build the cities, cultivate the crops. Propaganda, ZZZZT. A cunning ploy by the canine overlords to lull us into a false sense of security. Thus began the great intergalactic canine conflict. The Xylorians, a race known more for their culinary prowess than their military might, launched a series of attacks that left Earth baffled. Fluffy pink laser beams zapped strategically placed dog parks, fire hydrants vanished in puffs of green smoke, and mailboxes dispensed gourmet dog biscuits laced with a sleep-inducing pheromone, much to the delight of the canine recipients. On Earth, chaos reigned. Dogs, confused by the sudden lack of fire hydrants and the abundance of sleeping humans, staged mass howlins. Social media exploded with videos of confused poodles chasing laser pointers in the sky. The president, at a particularly chaotic press conference, was interrupted by his own golden retriever, who proudly presented a stolen sock live on television. Meanwhile, clocks, frustrated by the lack of resistance, finally received a transmission. It wasn't the panicked pleas of a surrendering canine overlord, but a montage of dog videos, puppies tumbling over their paws, dachshunds chasing squirrels with comical determination, a golden retriever trying, and failing, to bury a bone in a flower pot. Clocks blinked his multifaceted eyes. ZZZZT cleared his throat, Sir, I believe this is, entertainment. They find their canines, endearing. A long, Stunned silence filled the war room. Finally, clocks chuckled, a sound like pebbles rolling in a metal bucket. Endearing. These, these beasts of burden. News of the Xylorian miscalculation spread quickly. Soon, the internet was flooded with even more dog videos, carefully curated to showcase their goofy charm. Back on Earth, a global treat day was declared with humans showering their furry companions with affection and snacks. The Xylorians, touched and a little embarrassed, declared a truce. They even offered Earth a shipment of their sleep-inducing dog biscuits, a peace offering that was met with enthusiastic tail wags from canines across the planet. The great intergalactic canine conflict ended not with a bang, but with a belly rub and a slobbery kiss. Earth learned a valuable lesson about interspecies communication, and the Xylorians discovered the undeniable power of a puppy-dog stare.